All right. Let us go settle a score with the Hellkite. Um, and then maybe we'll do we'll do item story time in the Sunlight Altar, maybe. All right. Let me switch out for the gold hem set. Not that I really think it'll do that much to help, but look, any, any little bonus I think is helpful in this instance. No shield is a curious choice that I don't know that I appreciate either. I don't know why I'm doing that to myself. Do I, I have to go further to piss off Hellkite, eh? All right, well then we will do such a thing. Can I get to the safety spot? Wait, where the hell is the Hellkite, Drake? Does Hellkite relocate, or does Hellkite just not show up if I choose that bonfire? Oh, well, that'll be a bummer. Well, I take it back about Hellkite. Maybe we won't get our showdown. He'll come back? Okay, cool. Well, we'll just uh, keep ourselves entertained here, I suppose. Excuse you. Unless he glitched. Well, that would be not great. I could try dying and then respawn at the bonfire and see what happens. Excuse me, could you come kill me, please, sir? I would appreciate your assistance in ending my life. All right, do your worst. What do you, bud? All right, that's more like it. I'm giving you the best shots of your life. Is that really the best you got? Come on. Come on. All right, I'll at least face my death with courage. Thank you. I appreciate your service. We'll see if the respawn triggers him. No Hellkite. All right, bummer. Well, that's all right. We can go read some item descriptions. And then we'll have to go see Papa Fire Lord. Oh, there he is. Oh, I knew you'd come back. What a time to have the iframes from that uh, backstab. I love that. All right, Hellkite Madeer. Maybe it's time you came down and said hello. Hi. Oh boy. You still do a lot of damage, huh? Alright. On its way back now. 
Kite. I'll leave you alone. You can continue to rule over the Berg. If we, I mean, if we were nice enough to give that clam seats archives, we can be nice enough to give Hellkite the Berg. I suppose it's only fair. Let's read some items because we're not going to have a chance to do it once we're down in the kiln. Is this Siegland? Oh, hello again. Yeah, it is. You both might have been quite well, aren't you? But I haven't found my father yet. Have you seen him? Uh, I have not, in fact, seen him lately. Really? Then I must be off. I'm sorry he's caused you trouble. You have enough for that. You should just stay put. Pretty sure that sends her to her death, which is kind of a bummer, but what are you going to do? All right, items. What did we find? I don't think any new stuff in here. Very good. Yeah, this, um, other than the Lord Soul nothing new from there seath's lord stone or lord soul rather soul of the albino seath the scaleless a fragment of a lord soul discovered at the dawn of the age of fire seath allied with lord gwyn and turned upon the dragons and for this he was awarded dukedom embraced by the royalty and given a fragment of a great soul although just a piece it will still satiate the lord vessel we also found the crystal ember. Uh, crystal weapons are powerful but brittle and cannot be repaired once broken. Uh, created by Seath the Scale is handled only by the giant god's blacksmiths. So giant blacksmith for that one. Oh, we got the keys for all of these. I don't know if there's any lore in them. Uh, the key to the cell of the Duke's Archive Tower. The Archive Tower, once a trove of precious tomes and letters, became a prison after the onset of Seath's madness. The serpent men who guard the prison know not the value of what they hide. In the basement of the tower are the writhing mistakes of the terrifying experiments which are conducted there. Perhaps the serpent men were careless, for there are several keys scattered about which fit Archive Tower cells. Uh, that one we already read key to the giant door leading out from the uppermost floor of the archive tower which now serves as a prison the key's design resembles not the key of a prison indeed the tower was once no prison at all but a trove of precious tomes thank you for the hydrate so it wasn't until after seath like absolutely lost his marbles that all that stuff started being an issue at Vinheim Dragon School, only magic swordsmen on special orders are allowed to learn this spell, which grants temporary strength to great shields. And then we got the channeler's sets. Let's see. Probably at the bottom, yeah. Oh, we've got the boss stuff to read, too. I didn't think about that. I had forgotten we bought those earlier. Where is it? There it is. Helm of the Channelers, sorcerers that serve Seath the Scaleless. The six eyes arranged in two vertical columns compensate for Seath's lack of sight. The heaviest of protective gear for sorcerers and imbued with magic. Uh, robe of the Channelers, sorcerers that serve Seath the Scaleless. Even after the onset of Seath's madness, the Snatchers, as they were often called, ventured to far lands to find suitable human specimens. So freaking creepy. Seath, you are just terrible. You're the worst. Here's the golem set. 
Head of the Iron Golem, Guardian of the Ancient Sen's Fortress, Slayer of Heroes who ventured forth to Anorlando. Without its core, it is a mere hunk of iron and can be equipped as a solid protective gear, but its immense weight hinders stamina and recovery. Uh, bu -bu -bu, nothing to do with that. Smo, Helm of Smo, the Executioner, protector of the cathedral at the forsaken city of Anorlando. It offers extremely high defense and can be worn by humans, but not without great difficulty. I wish there was more lore on these, like for the fact that you have to beat the boss and then pay so many in souls, it sucks that there's not more lore tied to it. Helm of Artorius the Abyss Walker, one of Gwyn's four knights. The death of the helm's owner can be surmised from the corrosive dark of the abyss and the musty azure blue ta uh, tassel, once a symbol of pride and glory. The death of their blah, 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 blah which has compromised their protective utility. All right, so a little bit different lore on those. Crown of the Dark Sun Gwendolyn, protector of the Forsaken City of Anorlando. This crown of the gods demands faith immeasurable of its wearer, but it is imbued with dark moon power that enhances all magic. The image of the sun manifests Gwendolyn's deep ad adoration of the sun. The power of the moon was strong in Gwendolyn, and thus he was raised as a daughter. His magic garb is silk thin and and hardly provides any physical defense. And then we got Domnal set is in here somewhere too, right? Where is it? Domnal, what you doing? Where are you hiding your stuff? A strange helm from the ancient land of Zena, birthplace of the curious dealer Domnal. These, uh, the two horns are believed to symbolize wisdom. The many metals are believed to symbolize glory. The gold bracelets symbolize a vanquisher, and the inlaid silver rings symbolize an explorer. Domino, like, secretly kind of a badass, apparently, or at least he, he you know, he walks the walk. Wanderer coats. We're gonna do this in our standard wanderer's garb. All right. Let's go talk to Framps and have him um, send us to where we're headed. Framp, you better wake up. There's some important shit going down here, dog. Hello? No, no. I'm wake fine. up. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. An old withering snake. Excuse me, old withering I snake. I would like to, to go downstairs. Well. Is it something urgent? Um, could you perhaps send me to where I need to be? Very well. Then stay still for a moment. Offer souls to the Lord vessel. So freaking cool. There's something neat symbolically about needing to blaze a big enough fire in the lord vessel to even get entry into the kiln like you have no reason to be in the kiln unless you're capable of creating that kind of fire hello knight are you a figment you are a figment the kiln of the first flame. Ooh, baby. I'm pretty excited. I haven't decided what ending we're going to do yet. I don't know if you guys have strong feelings one way or the other as far as doing a link ending or doing the dark ending. Time for a one shot? I hope so. It'd be, it'd be awfully nice. I don't know that I'm that good at parrying him. I'm not going to have a ton of room to figure it out because 
the parries would be nice, but like he'll do so much damage to me if I drop a parry input. Ooh, I'm not even gonna make it through his knights. Says it while parrying a black knight. Yeah, but I put in a couple hundred deaths to, to be able to do those black knight parries. If you go check some of the earlier uh, earlier sessions from the VOD, I was not always that good at parrying the Black Knights. <laughs> Alright, come on, bud. What you got? Oh, that one always gets me. That delay sucks. Man, you guys are just giving up all the goodies. Chunks. No one wants to give me a sword. Maybe we'll get the Black Knight Great Sword and I'll just completely abandon the kill of the first flame. We'll go level it up and kill Gwyn with that. That would be funny. Oh, that's right. There's one out on the walkway. I love the way this looks. Like, just the absolute devastation to this area. And you can see that, like, it wasn't just that it was on fire. It was, like, an explosive force because all of this stuff is, like, melted and burned and then kind of, like, shifted one way or the other, like, hard, hard to one side. So cool. Item out here. The rushing wind. Oh, the Black Knight sets out here. Oh, you scumbag. Really? All right, well, we'll read this Black Knight set before we go in. Get out of here with that nonsense. It looks easy now, <laughs> but I had to I had to put in quite a bit of work before it did. All right, where are you, Black Knights? Here we go. Helm of the Black Knights who haunt Lordran. The Knights followed Lord Gwyn when he departed to link the fire, but they were burned to ashes in the newly kindled flame, wandering the world as disembodied spirits ever after. So cool. So the knights that have been plaguing me this whole time. Tight knight chunk for my troubles. Just the empty shells of the former entourage that came with Gwyn to link the flame. So cool. Like how disastrous this linking was. Or maybe not disastrous because it succeeded for so long. It's not a disaster as much as it is just the, the raw power. All right, homie. Let's do it. Come on. Good day, sir. It's nice of them to give you like a plethora of chunk types on your way through here. Like, I guess it'd be nicer if they were like last opportunity slabs, right? Just like, hey, you're about to beat the game. If there's anything left in your build that you haven't fine tuned, maybe this is the time to do it. I very nearly missed that input. Oh, how fitting. I'm going to drink this Estus. So here we are. Obviously, some upgrades to the weaponry. Still in the OG Wanderer's gear, and I'm going into this fight with five Estus, just like old times. Here we go. Win the Lord of Cinder. Oh, I missed it. All right. All right. 
you can chill out with your sword, sir. I am stuck on a Craig. Oh man. All right, there we go. We finally get one. Pretty good damage, not great. I can't be that far away and think I'm gonna parry him though. There we go. God, Gwyn, you look so tired, bud. How long you been down here? You gotta be sleepy. Try to hit me with the grab attack. No, thank you. Ooh. I hated that. Oh, shit. I kind of wish I had done this fight human. I'm now realizing. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh, I took humanity off my hot bar. What a fool I've been. I just gotta man up and hit all of these inputs. No! You can't parry that one though. <laughs> oh my that would have felt so good i feel so silly let's go ahead and put humanities back on the old hot bar and you know what i think i am where the hell's humanity there it is i think i am going to Reverse hollow here. So that I can have him human for the last of the uh, fighting. Sub butter vibes. It was close. For first attempt, I'll take it. Some of those attacks. Like, I, I've I've long known that people consider Gwyn to be, like, a pretty easy parry. But what's tricky is some of them, the speed is right for a parry, but the range is off. He's got such incredible range on that fire sword. All right. I might try and just run the gauntlet here rather than actually fight all of these guys again. Well, no, we got 20 Estus. I can fight these guys. We'll still have plenty of Estus when we get into Gwyn. If I had walked in with any more than the five Estus we had, I think that would have been a one-shot on Gwyn, no problem. Why would you do that? Sir, you've just given up your opportunity to best me. Oh man, you want to farm some Titanite. If I got a location for you, if you're still interested in Titanite chunks by the time that you are a badass enough warrior to get into the kiln of the first flame, I've got a deal for you. I keep doing that a half second too early and I'm not getting the backstab once he stands up. It's a bummer. All right, tempted to just say peace to the one that's out on the catwalk. Actually, he's probably harder to dodge than he is to fight. Even without the item, does he still get the ambush over there? Hello, sir. Oh, I missed it. Uh oh. Yeah, no reason to screw about trying to dodge roll away from him. These guys, though, I can probably just run past and hit the fog wall. Can you see in? 
Yeah, you can see him. Oh, how cool. What up, Gwyn? He's waiting. He's breathing heavy in there. He's like, shit, that dude actually put up a fight. All right. Peace, sir. We gotta go. Oh, I goombed him. He took damage from that. That was hilarious. Rude to keep him waiting. We coming, Gwen. Don't worry. Hi, Papa Gwens. Get out of here with that shit. I want none of it. And I'm gonna pick up my souls just for fun. How you like that? Oh, all right. You like that a lot. Oh, Chris, don't run your mouth and then get iced. That'll feel real bad. All right. I can't believe I, I parried that so easily on that first attempt, and then he just clowned me. Oh, shit. No! Gwen, please, Gwen, consider the children. Oh, you jumped over me, you fool. Get out of here with that shit. All right, we've hit the reset button. I love the soundtrack for this fight. It's so good. Just get chain parried, Gwynny. There's something to be said for the theory that, ah, damn it, that Gwyn doesn't want you to fail, that like he, he wants you to beat him and link the flame. Maybe it's just like, he's got to put up enough of a fight to make you earn it. Sorry, Gwen. Soul of Gwen, the Lord of Cinder. And just like that, Logus is triumphant. Is it not a key item? Thanks so much for the bit, Stealth. Get some! He wasn't ready for the smoke. Can I not read the lore on it? There it is. It's an actual Lord Soul. Yo, Von Kali, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight and Cinder, who linked the first flame. Afterlife, thank you for the biddies. Lord Gwyn bequeathed most of his power to the gods and burned as Cinder for the first flame. But even so, Lord Gwyn's soul is a powerful thing indeed. Logus, you've done it. You handsome son of a bitch. So now I gotta choose, are we linking the fire or are we leaving? I think, I feel like, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Thank you for the congrats as well. Um, I'm eventually going to play Dark Souls 2 and 3. And so I feel like canonically, we're gonna look at the Link the Flame ending here because the, the cycle continues. We've got more Dark Souls to play. It won't necessarily be soon, but it's gonna happen. So Logus. If you could kindly do the honors, please. So cool. I'm definitely glad we did this human.
if you don't like it, someone else will. Apollo, you're right. With all the countless various alternate dimensions and timelines, someone's chosen undead will do it. Achievement unlocked to link the fire. Ooh. Man, that one, that one feels good. <laughs> I will, I will not remotely try and hide how excited I am to officially say that I have beaten Dark Souls. Not just beaten Dark Souls, we beat every boss in Dark Souls, not including the Hellkite Drake, but that was the Hellkite Drake's fault. Um, man, I, so I, I really, really like this game. You know, I, I know that there's a lot of people that like Dark Souls for different reasons. Um, you know, some people just love the challenge of it. Some people love the lore um, and and kind of like the community that sprung up around it. I think I think the thing that I am most impressed by Dark Souls and, and the reason I like it is just I can't believe this game got made. I can't believe this game got made. So if you go back and look at From Software you know, they their biggest hit, arguably before the Soulsborne series was ever a thing, was the Armored Core series. They rolled the dice on a on a kind of dual funding promotion with Sony to do Demon Souls. And Demon Souls like did okay, but it wasn't exactly as beloved as Dark Souls would become, right? Like, it's undoubted that Dark Souls is the thing that made it happen for FromSoft. And for them to have still, on the heels of Demon Souls, put together this game, keep it with this like incredibly deep but impenetrable lore, the difficulty curve, the, the esoteric secrets, um, is just, it's such a bold choice. And I think it pays off. I think the game still is kind of uniquely its own thing, regardless of how many other games kind of mimic it and join the Soulsborn genre. Um, and it's just, I, I think it's a game that, you know, clearly as I showed in this playthrough, playing it is different than watching it. I had watched an immeasurable number of hours of Dark Souls content leading up to playing and beating this game. Um, and it's a totally different feeling when you're on the joysticks, right? Like zones I thought I understood, I didn't. Enemies that I figured would be easy were hard. Enemies I thought were hard sometimes were easy. Um, just a really kind of remarkable thing that playing it is the only way to experience it like this, right? I'm not saying everyone should play Dark Souls. I think that Dark Souls is a game that some people just know that they're not in for. And that's fine. I've, you know, I'm never going to try and tell someone that they have to play a game, right? I think that's such a subjective choice. Um, but man, anyone who's thinking about playing Dark Souls, anyone who thinks that Dark Souls is a game that they could withstand should absolutely play Dark Souls. I, uh, I, I will say that the hardest, the hardest part of Dark Souls isn't Dark Souls. <laughs> It's you. <laughs> Dark Souls is difficult, but is insanely fair about its difficulty. So it just comes down to whether or not you are willing to take the ass whooping that it takes to learn it, to embrace it, and to get through it. I think it's very, very good. Um, and one of the best parts about it is that it is out of the backlog finally officially a, a decade later it is donezo um